Hello. Did you uh, did you miss me, Kiss fans? I know it's been a while. We've been out there in the uh, real world, unfortunately, doing lame, lame shit. Anyway, man, I saw this lighthearted, fun article from Blabbermouth. Wow. All right, man. So apparently, Matt Cameron, the guy from, uh, he's a drummer for Soundgarden, and now you know uh, Pearl Jam, of course, because you know Soundgarden's not around. But uh, apparently, man, he got a cease and desist letter from Kiss when he was a teenager. All right, man. So the article says that uh, in a recent interview, uh, Cameron was like, you know, I was in a neighborhood Kiss cover band. And then uh, they went to go see Kiss on the Alive tour and showed, got to meet Paul Stanley and showed Paul Stanley like a picture of their uh, cover band, man. And apparently, uh, he goes on to say in the interview, man, that they were playing under the name KISS, which is quite silly. But, you know, I guess back in those days, they didn't know about copyright shit, man. So KISS actually sent a fucking <laughs> cease and desist letter. Uh, they, he talks about getting a letter in the mail from Acoin Management. Now we all know Bill Acoin, you know, KISS uh, alumni, you know. But uh, anyway, man, so uh, that's... Pretty funny, dude. They told him to, you know, stop playing under the kiss. Now, I guess it makes sense, man. I mean, uh, just can't call your band kid. And this was in the 70s, man. They still were, like, on top of that uh, legal shit, man. So, uh, kudos to Bill Coin. And uh, too bad nobody sent a cease and desist to Pearl Jam. Yeah. Uh, to stop. To just stop everything. Just kidding. Just kidding. But anyway, uh... Yeah, let me know what you think, man. Some good, uh, good kiss news. Have a good one.